Eifto. Blond, 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 blond. Eifto. My name's Coogan Cassius, this is iFilm London. With me, I've got Olympic medalist, gold medalist, James Gal. How are you, James? Fantastic, Coogan. Yeah. yeah well You're looking in shape, I will say in that. In shape, I'm feeling shape, I'm feeling all good. Can't wait. What's different from the George Groves fight, preparation-wise, training-wise? Obviously, I ain't, I ain't got that, that, that kind of mad pressure. My mad pressure and mad uh, build-up, really. Uh, this is just... A normal fight, obviously a hard fight. Uh, box for the European title, but I just ain't got that little thing on my shoulder and constantly thinking in my head about what I want to do to him and how I want to hurt him. Uh, with this fight, it's just uh, obviously it's a European title, uh, but I just ain't got that itch, man. Just thinking about him and all the build-up, really. Are you saying that the build-up has obviously ultimately affected you as well? Listen, it would affect anyone, but it didn't affect me in the way where like I was like scared and like that. It was just a lot of pressure. Obviously, boxing in front of fifteen thousand people and and all the mad hype and everyone was speaking about it and a pressure on the family, to your friends, to your whoever. There was a lot. There was there was a lot on the fight. And this this is obviously slightly different. Obviously, it's for for a bigger title and it gets me a fantastic world ranking. But it just ain't that pressure. I think just it just ain't got that pressure. Well, what do you know about Piotr Wilczewski? Um, you know, I've seen some YouTube videos myself of him. I don't know too much about him, I'll be honest with you. Uh, how much do you know about him and what sort of tests do you think he'll provide? Listen, his record speaks for itself. He's only had the one loss out of 30 fights. Uh, and he's European champion. Uh, so he's got to be good. He's well ranked by the WBO, number two. So when I beat him, I take that ranking. Uh, he's, a, he's a good fighter. He's a typical Eastern European Tough, strong, durable, but he can box when he wants to box as well. Uh, he can he can have a little dance. He can he can go on the back foot when he wants to. So uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be entertaining. But I'm looking forward to being European champion on the 15th of October. Um, I, I blame myself for this, really. But every time, obviously, you get interviewed, you get asked about George Groves. I mean, when, when do you think this is going to come to a stop? Where it's like, like I said, I blame myself because I'm talking to you about it now, but. It seems to be every time he's mentioned, you're mentioned, you're mentioned, he's mentioned, you know. How long? He made his name off me, man. But listen, I don't think it will stop. Because the fight was so controversial, a lot of people thought I won. A lot of boxing writers, a lot of the general public, a lot of people thought, thought, thought I won. And, and he has to live with it. Uh, but I don't think when I don't think it will ever stop. Like when you ask me, whenever you interview me, you're not always ask because you want to see the rematch. That's why. You why don't you, if you win, then I suppose it's, it's even yeah, again. That's what I'm saying. If I win, you're going to probably say when's the third one. So uh, I don't think it will end. I don't think it will end, but all good. But um, like I said, in general, your training, your training been going well because you said you're looking in great shape. You're always looking in great shape before fights anyway. But um, five, six days to go. So everything's been going to plan. Even going to plan, as I say, it's been a long, it's been a long, long camp. I thought I was boxing September, uh, September the seventeenth. So by the time Saturday comes round, it's been about a fourteen-week camp. So it's been long and it's dragged a bit, but I'm in, I'm in super shape, and I can't wait now to grab this opportunity with both hands and become a European champion. What do you think the per um, the country's perception is of you as a boxer and as a person? Well, I'm not too sure because all I get is love and support. Like wherever I go, uh, pe people recognise me and, and people say, oh, I see your last fight, it was great, or whatever. Like I, I, all, all I get is love and support and get noticed. But when I read certain things or or I speak to you and you say, what's, what's the country's perception of me? Yeah. I get a bit like, I don't know, you tell me then. Because all I get is love and support. Well, listen, I can't speak for a country. I can only, listen, I can only speak of I, uh, on behalf of iFilm London. But it just seems to me, if I'm talking honestly, that you seem to get... You do get good press, but for some reason, you get sometimes a little bit of negative press. And I don't really know that why that is, because we've spoke to you loads of times, and I don't think you come across... I'll tell you why it is, because with the Gross fight, I said it the way it is. I told him his breath smart. I told him he was ugly, right? And a, a lot of people don't think that was on, right? But people got to realise this, this rivalry goes back years. The guy's lived off my name for years. And people forget he was calling me horse face. He was calling me defoul. 
like it was vice versa. We was both doing it to each other. We don't like each other. <laughs> but uh, listen, all, all, all that is is surely banter anyway. Uh, to sell a fight, it is. Yeah, it, 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 I know you've got rivalry, but... Of course, of course it is. So we're not in there to give each other a kiss and a hug. Like, we don't like each other. We're in there to fight. We're in, in there to beat each other up. Like, so I'm not going to be nice to someone I don't like. Do you, do you think the country's got a problem with outspoken sports stars? Because, like I said, you get people like Wayne Rooney, who's very opinionated and vocal, and he gets slated a lot. I think, I think, I think we, like, we like losers. And, and now that I've lost, maybe they get behind me a bit more. Like Frank Bruno, we love Bruno. We love Tim Henman. Good sportsmen, successful, but losers. And they did lose. But now I've lost, maybe they can get behind me a bit more. Muhammad Ali lost as well. Muhammad Ali lost. He got a lot of stick as well. But, uh, yeah, hopefully they'll get behind me now. But I get my support and love. And I say I'm just going to let my boxing do this all talking in the ring now. And uh, we'll just go from there. Right, well, we support British boxing, and that includes you as well, all day long. So Thank you very much. I'm from London. Brilliant. This is Coogan Cassius here in Loughton. Nice Loughton, isn't it? I haven't been here for a while. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> With uh, James DeGal, MBE for I from London. Thank you very much. Thank Hi, this is James DeGaulle, soon to be European champion, and you're watching I Film London. I Film London. 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 I Film London. London. London.